All right, so these are Madagascar hissing cockroaches. These are the stars of our endless love promotion. So they're, they're adorable. Yeah, um, they don't run quickly and they don't have any wings. We like that. Yeah. Look at this. Like it. It's like a little bracelet. Yeah, you can wear them yeah. as a brooch. A brooch yes, brooch. A, a brooch brooch. Exactly. <laughs> they make a very nice accessory yes. as long as they're being well behaved. Yes. I like so. this. We're getting a whole forest yeah. over here. We're getting everybody hanging out. Hey. Yeah, they're comfy. Matching set. <laughs> Does he like it go. up there? Yeah. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Hi, I'm Erin and I'm the Cockroach Wrangler for the Endless Love Promotion at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. It won't bite, right? It's, no, it won't bite. So this is a really unique opportunity for you to really celebrate your loved one by naming a cockroach after them. Romeo? <laughs> Romeo the roach? <laughs> so it seems kind of kind of strange, but when you really think about it, you really want your love to last as long as a cockroach. <laughs> So how are you I feeling right now? Terrifying. <laughs> In the beginning, we were kind of playing off of the stigma of cockroaches. <laughs> and it was sort of like an anti-Valentine's Day, you know, name a cockroach after your ex. Yeah, I could think of several old boyfriends that I could name them after, and then I'd want to go squash. <laughs> you know, we love cockroaches here. We don't want to give people the impression that cockroaches are bad or, or add to that impression that people already have. <laughs> oh, now he's moving. See, now he's moving. We want people to know that cockroaches are actually really good. And you should love cockroaches. Titus, what are you doing? Oh, are you God. gonna kiss it? No. <laughs> so we want you to name the cockroach after someone that you love. <laughs> so it's kind of grown into more of a uh, cockroach appreciation slash love for your valentine type thing. You could be my buddy. There are more than 4,000 different species worldwide and most of them live far away from us out in the forest. Um, there's only about 12 or so species worldwide that are actually considered pests and live in association with people. And they can be kind of icky because they eat decomposing matter. What do you think oh of the roach? Well, if they're I saw it in my house, I'd be really disgusted. <laughs> yeah. But right now, it's, they're not so bad. That seems kind of icky to us, but it's very important to the environment. Although the bottom half is scaring me a little because I don't want to be pooped on. I think a lot of people do think, why are they here? Why do we need them? Because I get that question a lot. Ooh, this one's active. I know. Yes. But <laughs> we really need them. They're very important. So what do you think? Would anybody want to name the roach after a valentine? See, the most romantic thing I can think of when it comes to roaches is killing them together. <gasps> oh. So you go online, you can make a $5 donation. The donation actually goes to the Butterfly Center and all of our amazing programs. And it helps us to do our education and outreach to get the resources that we need to take these creatures out to schools and teach kids all about these things. Hey, you don't seem scared anymore. You're coming around. And then you get to name a roach. You can come and visit them in the Roach Motel, which is in the Grand Hallway, and you'll get a special certificate which you can personalize and, and give to your loved ones so you can prove. <laughs> I did indeed name a cockroach after you. They're getting feisty. <laughs> All insects have these things called spiracles, which are breathing holes. They're actually in their abdomen. Hissing cockroaches have these spiracles that are shaped so that when they force air out, it's going to produce a hissing noise. If an animal is approaching, they'll start, you know, kind of making this hissing noise thinking, you know, hopefully the animal is going to think, oh, that's a snake. And what's our lifespan? Three to five years. Oh, wow. Cool. About the perfect time for a boyfriend. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Three to five years and then I get a new one. And of course, cockroaches are very tough, very adaptable, and they tend to live through thick and thin. So just like your relationship with your loved one, cockroaches, they endure. <laughs>